got some misfires today. Uh, looks like someone's already been in here, but we're going to go ahead and take the plugs out, check them, uh, maybe swap some coils on there real quick, and uh, see what's going on. Um, someone has broken all of the tangs off these connectors, which is awesome. So we aren't even locked in someone put a bunch of dielectric grease in here I'm not a big fan of dielectric grease so the correct fix so far is to replace the uh, connector housings but uh, let's start by getting these coils out of here I hope coils are coming apart so hopefully this thing does not need a motor See. Uh, normally, when I'm replacing the plugs, I'll just crack them loose with the impact. But what I found is that if the plugs are kind of weak, yeah, ground electrode will uh, has a higher potential to break it off. And if you're reusing them, you really don't want to impact them either. So just crack them loose and then use a uh, drill to take them out. <clears throat> And the plugs actually look okay so far. Might just have a coil problem. Yeah, the three plugs I took out seem okay. Um, Oh, 150 looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a maintainer on this thing so it cranks a little faster. Same thing, a little over 150.
All right, same thing. I got even compression. The cylinders I can get to. We have a bunch of oil around here. So, uh, we've got misfires on every cylinder. So, the next thing I'm going to do is um, put these plugs back in. And I'm going to check fuel trim. I have a feeling that connectors just uh, backed out a little bit, made loose contact. Because the locks are all broken. I got misfires on every cylinder. There's no point in um, swapping them. just nothing to hold these together we're not gonna have connector housings this person's uh, on the road so maybe I could rig something up with a zip tie to try to keep them from falling out that is a issue Pretty good now. Normally when these breathers leak, they leak to here and here if you um, I'm not gonna hear faults yet, but I'll be setting the fuel thing. So and here you can see it deactivated the cylinders and then got misfires. We'll uh, go on the fuel trim. in the 30s. I just don't remember as I go through these. I think it was like 31 or 33, but So it takes a minute until it goes out of closed loop. But uh, you can see our part load lambda, this long term fuel trim, is uh, quite high. But I want to see the actual, so I'm waiting for that to update. Okay, so now it's out of a uh, closed loop. You can see I'm getting uh, real-time lambda values. So you can check uh, for things leaking. Pop it to the top. And then this number here will spike. It's a lean, so it's uh, trying to richen it up. Put it back on, and then numbers drop. Tries to correct. So, so what you can do to uh, try to find leaks normally. I need a further leak, and if you have to say it, they're coming in, they're pressing, 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 they're pressing,
these numbers here actually look pretty good. Um, so I'm thinking we just have an issue with the coils. So I'm pretty sure the issue is that the connectors don't lock. Because you can just push on it and it runs worse. Uh, maybe you can see that. Maybe you can't. But the connectors, I think, just back out from the vibration of the motor when you're driving down the road. So we do actually have a set of these in stock. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those and the coils. Works best to release these. When you push it in to relieve the uh, tension on the locking tank, and then you just press it back. So I don't I don't know if like people like pry or push on these or something, but really don't use any tools. Just use your finger, and you can see when you press it, it lifts tab up which locks on the top of this but the key is to push it in first because it's kind of like got like tension jammed up on this tang and so if you push it forward then it's a lot easier to release it and then you don't end up breaking it um you know once you get used to these they're not that bad they're not my favorite but they're not that bad um i just see a lot of them broken so I repinned the connectors, replaced the coils, cleared faults, uh, took it on a few mile road test and nothing returned. So I'm going to ship this one. Uh, hopefully you learned something or found it entertaining. And if you did, uh, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.